This is why we rethought our uh, computational architecture. We designed our data centers from the ground up, and we put a lot of effort in them. Now that we are evolving uh, for this machine learning and AI world, we are rethinking our computational architecture again. We are building what we think of as AI-first data centers. This is why last year we launched the tensor processing units. They are custom hardware for machine learning. They were about 15 to 30 times faster or 30 to 80 times more power efficient than CPUs and GPUs at that time. We use TPUs across all our products. Every time you do a search, every time you speak to Google, in fact, TPUs are what powered AlphaGo in its historic match against LaserDAL. As you know, machine learning has two components. Training, that is how we build a neural net. We, we, you know, training is very computationally intensive and inferences what we do at real time so that when you show it a picture, we recognize whether it's a dog or a cat and so on. Last year's TPU were optimized for inference. Training is computationally very intensive. To give you a sense, each one of our machine translation models takes a training of uh, over three billion words for a week on about 100 GPUs. So we've been working hard, and I'm really excited to announce our next generation of TPUs, cloud TPUs, which are optimized for both training and inference. What you see behind me is one cloud TPU board. It has four chips in it, and each board is capable of 180 trillion floating point operations per second. And you know, we have designed it for our data center so you can easily stack them. You can put 64 of these into one big supercomputer. We call these TPU pods, and each pod is capable of 11.5 petaflops. It is an important advance in technical infrastructure for the AI era. The reason we named it, named it Cloud TPU is because we are bringing it through the Google Cloud platform. So Cloud TPUs are coming to Google Compute Engine as of today. The reason we are able to do this is because for a while, we've been investing in the scale of our computational architecture. This is why last year we talked about our tensor processing units. These are special purpose machine learning chips. These are driving all the product improvements you, you're seeing today. And we have made it available to our cloud customers. Since the last year, we've been hard at work. And today, I'm excited to announce our next generation, TPU 3.0. These chips are so powerful that for the first time, we've had to introduce liquid cooling in our data centers. And we put these chips in the form of giant pods. Each of these pods is now 8x more powerful than last year. It's well over 100 petaflops. And this is what allows us to develop better models, larger models, more accurate models, and helps us tackle even bigger problems. Our compute infrastructure is how we drive and sustain these advances. And tensor processing units are a big part of that. Today, I'm excited to announce our next generation, the TPU V4. These are powered by the V4 chip, which is more than twice as fast as the V3 chip. TPUs are connected together into supercomputers called pods. A single V4 pod contains 4,096 V4 chips. And each pod has 10x the interconnect bandwidth per chip at scale compared to any other networking technology. This makes it possible for a TPU V4 pod to deliver more than one exaflop, 10 to the 18th power floating point operations per second of computing power. Think about it this way. If 10 million people were on their laptops right now, then all of those laptops put together would almost match the computing power of one exaflop. This is the fastest system we have ever deployed at Google, and a historic milestone for us. Previously, to get an exaflop, you needed to build a custom supercomputer. But we already have many of these deployed today. And we'll soon have dozens of TPU v4 pods in our data centers, 
many of which will be operating at or near 90% carbon-free energy. And our TPU V4 pods will be available to our cloud customers later this year. All the advances we have shared today are possible only because of our continued innovation in our infrastructure. Recently, we announced plans to invest $9.5 billion in data centers and offices across the US. One of our state-of-the-art data centers is in Mays County, Oklahoma. I'm excited to announce that there, we are launching the world's largest publicly available machine learning hub for all our Google Cloud customers. This machine learning hub has eight cloud TPU v4 pods, custom built on the same networking infrastructure that powers Google's largest neural models. They provide nearly nine exaflops of computing power and aggregate, bringing our customers an unprecedented ability to run complex models and workloads. We hope this will fuel innovation across many fields, from medicine to logistics, sustainability, and more. And speaking of sustainability, this hub is already operating at 90% carbon-free energy.